So we're gonna begin on the floor. So just go ahead and bend your knees, taking your feet flat on the floor, hip width apart. Brace your abs in tight and slowly roll back onto your back. We're gonna warm up with a static press to turn on the abdominal muscles. So just begin with your hands pressed against your thighs. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, press the arms into the legs and brace those abs in tight, lifting your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat each time. Inhaling as you lower your head back. Exhaling, bracing those abs in tight, pressing the hands into the thighs. Making sure you're not tilting your tailbone up to the ceiling as you press your arms against your legs. Really use your abdominals to do all the work here. Just keep holding it, pressing against the thighs, and then relax the head back down. Next, bring the legs up to about 90 degrees and press the thighs against the hands while continuing to press your hands against your thighs. Think about zipping up through your pelvic floor, lower the legs slightly, and then press the thighs back into the hands. Exhaling as you lift the legs, inhaling as you lower away from the hands. Good, now release the legs down, and next we're gonna go into a hollow hold. Lift your upper back off the floor, lightly hold on to the backs of the thighs, and start alternating reaching your arms back and by your ears. Make sure you keep your chin tucked in towards your chest so your neck stays relaxed and all the focus and work stays in your abdominal muscles. Good, now let's go ahead and make this harder by using both arms. So we're gonna take both arms back and then back to the thighs. Make sure that you're maintaining that lift through the upper back, both shoulder blades staying completely off the floor the entire time. Inhale as you reach back, exhale as you press those hands back to your thighs. Good, so moving on from here, Clasp your hands together, bend your knees into your chest, and alternate bicycling your legs into your hands. So as the knee bends into your chest, make sure you're pressing against the thighs with your palms. Flex your feet and extend out through your heels, making sure that that extended leg doesn't touch the floor, it hovers right above the mat. Keeping those abs in tight, making sure that you're not arching through your lower back as you alternate legs. Next, extend your legs up to the ceiling, clasping your hands behind your head. You're gonna alternate dropping one leg down towards the floor at a time, and then keeping both heels together, lower both legs down on an angle and back up to the ceiling. Make sure your abdominals stay in tight and you avoid arching your lower back during the move. Elbows stay wide, hands support your head, focus on those abdominals. Inhale as the leg drops, exhale as they come back up towards the ceiling. Keep that belly button pressed in nice and tight towards the back the entire time. Good, next, come up to a sitting position. Bring your hands behind your hips, fingertips facing in, and lift up to a tabletop pose. So you're gonna reach the hips up towards the ceiling, keeping the knees bent over the ankles. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, slide the hips back through the hands, extending through your legs. Think about pushing back with your heels, and as the hips go through the hands, scoop your abdominals in nice and tight. Worry about fully extending your legs, just reach back as far as you can with your hips and then come back up to that tabletop pose. Inhale as you lift and exhale, press back through those feet. Great job. Next, extend the legs out, flexing through the heels. Bring both hands behind your head and hinge slightly back, keeping the spine nice and straight. You're gonna start to twist your body to one side, keeping those elbows open, and do a little double pulse, exhaling each time that you turn through the upper body. Twist, twist, inhale, 
and twist, twist, and inhale. Make sure that you stay lifted out of your back, keeping the spine nice and straight. If you feel your lower back starting to bother you here, sit up a little bit taller during the rotation. Take a stretch forward, and then from here, let's bring the legs back together. We're gonna repeat that sliding tabletop, bending the knees, taking the feet flat on the floor, Inhale back up to that tabletop position. Exhale, try to slide those hips back through the hands. See if you can keep your pelvis off the floor the entire time. Good, and once more, trying that rotating hinge. Hands behind the head, flex the feet, digging the heels into the floor. Hinge back with that nice flat back and go into that double twist. Each time that you're twisting, think about bringing the front of your ribs closer together. If you're looking for an extra challenge, try hinging back a little bit further on your second twist. Moving on from here, go ahead and bring yourself up onto your hands and your knees, placing the hands directly under the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Bracing the abs in tight, keeping that spine nice and straight. Extend one leg out and reach your opposite arm forward. Keeping the shoulders and the hips square, open your arm and leg away from the body about 45 degrees and then come back in to joint level. Opening and closing, using the abs to stabilize your torso as you move that arm and leg back and forth. Good, now go ahead and set that up on the other side. Extend your opposite arm and leg, reaching out, squaring up the hips and the shoulders, and open out 45 degrees and come back in. So make sure your arm and leg are opening out to the same angle each time. Great job. Now go ahead and bend one knee out to the side of your hip and then exhale, rounding the back, draw that knee across to your opposite elbow. So as you're drawing that knee across to the arm, it's okay to let your back round slightly. Think about scooping your abs in nice and tight towards your spine, really bracing the abdominals in tight to bring that knee across to your arm. Good, now let's try that on the other side. Bend the knee out to the side of the hip. Exhale, tuck it under towards your elbow. Good, make sure your body's not starting to lean to the side. You wanna keep those shoulders nice and square, pressing the arms against the floor the entire time. lower all the way down, flat on your stomach onto the floor, bending the elbows in by your sides, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Now we're gonna extend the spine, lifting the chest and the thighs, reaching the hands back towards the feet with the thumbs facing up. Think about exhaling as you extend the spine, inhale as you lower back down. Keep your chin tucked in towards your chest so the back of your neck stays nice and long.
Good, now go ahead and hold that extended position and you're gonna alternate reaching one arm at a time up by the sides of your ears. So the arms stay extended. You're gonna swim one arm up, then the other, and then reach back down by your hips. The palms face the floor as you reach overhead, and then you turn the thumbs back up to the ceiling as you extend the arms back down by your hips. Keep those shoulders pressing down. Try to keep those legs lifted off the floor the entire time. If that gets to be too intense, feel free to keep the toes flat on the floor as you continue just through the upper body. Take a quick stretch through the back. Sit the hips back over the heels, relax the head down. And now let's move into an elbow plank position. Bend those elbows underneath the shoulders, scoop the abs in tight, and begin to quickly walk your feet up in towards your hands, lifting the hips up into a pike position. So take four quick steps forward and four quick steps back to that full plank. Think about exhaling in, two, three, four, and inhale out, two, three, four. Keep the shoulders pressing down your back. Your arms are firmly pressed against the floor as you continue to walk in and out of that plank pike position. Go ahead and release yourself down. Take a nice stretch, pressing the arms into the floor. Extend and lift the chest up. Press back into child's pose, hips over your heels. And let's return to the hands and the knees. So we're gonna come back to that opposite arm and leg extension, taking it up, finding your balance, and then slowly opening that arm and leg out on that slight diagonal, and then coming back in line with the body. Make sure that that supporting hand stays directly underneath your shoulder for support. Great job, go ahead and do that on the other side. Extend your opposite arm and leg, squaring up the shoulders and the hips, and begin to open and close the leg in and out. Great job. Bend your knee out to the side of your hip and exhale, tuck it under to your opposite elbow. Keep pushing those hands against the floor. Keep the shoulders nice and square. Scoop the abs in and up as that knee comes across. Good, and go ahead and switch legs, taking the other knee out to the side of the hip and tuck it under and across to that opposite elbow. Go ahead and lower back down onto the stomach to repeat your spinal extensions. Extending and lifting the spine, reaching the hands back beside the hips, thumbs facing up towards the ceiling. Lift up as high as you can, making sure that that chin stays tucked in slightly towards the chest so the back of the neck stays nice and long and relaxed. Remember that when you're doing abdominal work, it's also important to mix in some back exercises as well so that you're balancing the front and the back side of your body. So hold that lifted extension, go back into that alternating arm swim, bringing one arm at a time up by the ears and then pressing them back down by your hips, turning the thumbs up towards the sky.
Remember, if it's too tough to keep your feet lifted, feel free to keep them on the floor and just do the upper body. Let's try that inching elbow plank again. Come back up to your elbow plank position with the feet wide. Exhale, start lifting the hips as you walk the feet in for four counts, and then back out for four counts. Really keep pressing down through the shoulders and the arms, capping the core muscles by pressing down into the back. Great job. Go ahead and take a stretch for that abdominal wall, extend the arms and the spine, and then lower back down to the floor. So turning back over, back onto the back. Bend the knees, flexing the feet, press the heels together. Lift your arms and upper back off the floor, looking at your legs. So we're gonna extend the legs out into a frog position, pressing out through the heels, and then as the legs are straight, keeping the back towards the floor, lower your legs a little bit further towards the floor, come back up to that 45 degree angle and bend the knees again, drawing the heels back into the body. So we bend, extend, lower and lift. As your legs are moving up and down, try to maintain that lift through your upper back, chin in towards your chest, shoulder blades completely off the floor, hands are just outside the hips. Good. Now let's go ahead and take a stretch for the lower back. Hugging one knee into your chest, use your opposite arm to bring that knee towards the floor. Twist and look back over your opposite arm. Let's repeat that on the other side. Just go ahead and bring yourself up to a seated position. Coming back up onto the hands and the knees, we're just gonna stretch the spine with a cat-cow stretch here. Inhale, round your chin into your chest, tucking that tailbone under, and then exhale, arch to the back, dropping your belly button towards the floor and looking up towards the sky. Take a nice deep breath here, inhaling deeply as you round the spine, exhaling fully as you arch to the back. Coming into a comfortable seated position, stretch one arm out and over to the side. Come back through the center and reverse it. Just go ahead and cross one leg over top of the other. Hug the knee in with your opposite elbow, sit up tall through the spine and look all the way back over your shoulder. Switch legs and repeat to the other side. Just coming back to that comfortable seated position. Take a nice deep breath in, stretching the arms overhead, and exhale, release it. Good, do that one more time. And you have just completed the best abs exercises for women. Thanks for joining me, and I hope we'll do this routine again real soon.